This video shows you how to set up and track annual and sick leave in Paymaker. We know that tracking leave is one of the more advanced topics in Paymaker. So if after watching the video, you feel that you need further assistance, please contact us at payrollatstands.com.fj or call our office at 3304-554. One of our trained payroll experts will be happy to help you. Let's get started. The steps to track leave in Paymaker are Create one or more leave plans. Assign leave plans to employees. Update timesheets when employees take leave. Let's get started with step one. Create a leave plan. What is a leave plan? A leave plan defines how many days of sick and annual leave an employee is entitled to and how it is calculated. Your company may have one leave plan or as many as it wants. For example, employees who have worked more than a certain number of years may be entitled to more leave than those who have just joined. Leave plans will become more clear with this example. In this example, an employee is entitled to 10 days annual leave and 10 days sick leave. Employee works 8 hours a day and is paid weekly. That is, they get paid 52 times a year. Let's set this up in Paymaker. Open Paymaker. Go to Administration, select Leave Plan and click OK. Click on Add to make a new plan. Give a title to your leave plan. In the Sick Leave section, if an employee is entitled to 10 days of sick leave and they work 8 hours a day, this means they are entitled to 80 hours of sick leave in the year. In the Hours Earned Per Run section, enter 80. For maximum hours possible, enter 80 hours. I will explain this in a minute. Click on the Calculate When drop-down. There are three ways in which Paymaker can calculate leave. These are Anniversary, Date Below, and Every Payroll. The usual rule for sick leave is that all employees are entitled to the full amount, or 80 hours in this example, at the start of the year. Therefore, we will select date below from the list and enter 1st of January. In this example, we have also set maximum hours possible to 80 hours. The reason for this is that in most companies, sick leave is not carried over from the previous years. You do not want your payroll to give them more than this. Now on the first pay that you will run on, or after the 1st of January, up to 80 hours will be added to the employee sick leave, but the total will not exceed 80 hours either. Now let's set up the annual leave part of this plan. Select every payroll from the drop-down. When you select every payroll, it means that additional leave will be added for the employee each time the employee is paid. This makes sense for annual leave because annual leave is generally accrued. That is, additional hours of leave are earned each pay week. We will set the maximum hours for the annual leave to a blank value. This is because there is no maximum annual leave for most companies. That is, you can carry your leave from one year into the next. Now let's calculate the value you need to enter for the hours earned per run. The formula to calculate annual leave is number of hours worked in a day multiply by number of days leave, divided by the pay periods in a year. This is 8 by 10 divided by 52, equals 1.5346 hours per pay run. We can go back to the screen in Paymaker and enter 1.5346 hours for hours earned per pay run section. Our leave plan is all set up. We can click close to save the plan and go back to the menu. We are now ready to move to step 2, Assign Leave Plans to Employees. Click on the Payroll Data Forms button and select View Edit Existing Employees. Click on the Leave YTD tab and select the Leave Plan you created. Enter steps to enter hours at last pay date. Now do this for all employees that you want on this particular leave plan. We will be processing Brad Pitt's sick leave later so please remember that he had 50 hours to start with. We can now move to step 3. Update timesheets when employees take leave. 
you will need to do this in the same batch where you normally enter a person's timesheet. So click on Add New Batch. Create your batch. Select an employee who has taken a sick leave. I am going to select Brad Pitt who, as you remember, had 50 hours sick leave left. Correct the normal time hours to reflect the total minus the hours taken for sick leave. In this example, let's say he has taken 8 hours sick leave so he worked for 32 hours. Select the employee again, enter sick leave and the hours taken. You can repeat this for any other employees who have taken sick leave or annual leave. Click close and then proceed with processing the pay via Paymaker Wizard as you normally would. Once you have processed the pay, the leave information will be updated on the employee screen and on the reports. For this employee, Brad Pitt, you can see that his leave has gone down from 50 hours to 42 hours. This information can also be seen on reports. Click on report and display the master listing. You can see here that the leave taken is shown on his details. Let me show you his payslip. You can see that the leave information is also shown here. Finally, you may want to print the leave details and the leave summary reports for additional information. We hope you found this video useful. You know that leave is an advanced feature on Paymaker, so if you need any further assistance, please contact us at payrolladstands.com.fj or call our office on 3304-554. One of our trained payroll experts will be happy to help you. If you are not a Paymaker user yet, but would like to know more, please contact our office for a code and a free demo.